Hi there, this is a diffraction grating. It is said to be 1,000 lines. Uh, that's per millimetre. It just looks plain actually when you're like a piece of plain film. Warning, don't look at direct sun. I want to show you this with a bulb I have up here. Obviously turn this bulb on, watch your eyes, give the camera a little bit to stabilise. Now if you hold it up to the light, you see, clear, okay. I'm looking almost, this is in direct line with the diffraction gate, grating on the light at the moment. I can tilt it about and might think, oh it's not working. But I'll slowly move it over to the left of the light. And you can start to see some of the like rainbow colours that, as it splits the light up from the light. Like a rainbow. I can move it closer. Might see a bit better. And I can also go over to the right. Now this is all, probably might be depending on the frequency of the light you're looking at, the angles here. Oh, and I can do this when I'm looking with my eyes. If I'm looking with my eyes, I go over to the right about, I would say, 300 millimetres and I can start to see the colours. Those might be some colours off the uh, monitor. Let me turn the monitor off. So I can turn this other light off, actually. Okay, so now we've only got this one light on, really, to speak of. So we can start to see the colours there when we're not holding it directly. This is 15 degrees I would say off kilter so to speak to one side of the light that's coming from. No slit here, nothing like that, just the diffraction grating held up to somewhere within the light path. What about above? Turn it sideways, yep. So as far as I know the grating is going straight up and down, 1000 lines per millimetre and likewise below the light. I'm just going to, well first of all I'll show you this torch. This is a Cree XML T6, I don't know if it's a genuine one but it's been a very good torch. It's extremely bright LED, actually I'm going to put it on its lower beam. Let me prop that up down here. If I can do this. Yeah, you're getting some strobing because the LEDs are using um, like a boost converter, that's what I'm trying to think of. But again, if I hold it over to the left of the light, the camera's pointing just about straight enough at the light now, the torch light, but I have to hold the refraction grating a bit to the left of the light to get the colours. Let me move the diffraction grating a bit closer. And when I say to the left, I can hold it obviously to the right. And I get this same, so far as I know, the same colours. I might be getting a bit of a problem with the focus here. As the camera's having a struggle to focus, no, 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 sort of what to focus on. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually light this candle. I have a candle here. And I have a flame here. Like a um, cigarette, uh, gas lighter flame. So there's a gas lighter flame. To be very careful here what I'm doing. Oh, there we are. You can see a good rainbow there. I'm again I'm not so much to the left of the camera, but it certainly is not directly in line, it's to the left of the line. Straight to the camera. What well, about if I turn it sideways? Sometimes I get a bit of a colour there if I hold it up higher and obviously down lower and turn it sideways. 
left and more to the right. I'm actually probably covering the lens with my hand here as I'm doing this a lot. So let me light this candle. There we are. That's a very yellowy, yellowy flame as you probably see. It's coming a bit through the edge of the glass where it is. Let me uh, try and get a better shot of this. A little bit dirty actually this diffraction grating. So I'm just to the side of this jar actually with the diffraction grating. Straight on, nothing much to speak of. A little bit if I go to the right, just to the side of this jar which I have this lit candle in. So that's a very quick test. No slits here as I say. This is like a ribbed glass edge here so it's probably giving all these like lines, sorry. Just get myself comfortable. So I've got blue, green and red mainly. So it's just I want to give you a quick look that if you hold it up to something and you say no it's not working. Well try holding it to the left or to the right of a of an object or if you're holding it like sideways up or down of an object. So you come with having a hard time focusing here. I aren't taking this. It's quite fascinating actually. So you can see there's a different widths in the bands of light there. A lot of blue, a lot of green and a lot of red seems to be. Let's put this other light back on. So where am I? Don't know where I am. Let me try and get that. I'm trying to get off. I'm zoomed in a bit. So let me zoom back out. Oh, well, that's just the, the camera lens is about here, and the diffraction grating is about 50 millimeters. Well, the edge of this is about just to the edge of the outside of the camera lens actually at the moment but it's not in direct line with the light it has to be almost to a size side just doing this quick method without any sort of uh, slit quite a lot of pe people use it like a slit device to look through I believe to adjust this but this is a quick way of testing your diffraction grating Just trying to get colours of, um, I think the camera has a very hard time of like focusing on that. Forget that skull up there, it's just novelty. And then can I go back down to this? That seems to actually give a better rainbow. I'll try and move this down a bit. Okay, I tried it down. That wasn't quite as good as what I hoped. So I'm going to do it from above. I have to watch for the heat of the candle on this film. That's on here. Again, going left. See, we haven't got the rip so many of the ripples now because we aren't sort of coming through the edge of the glass, so to speak. So you see that's to the left of the candle flame. And over that way obviously to the right of the candle flame. And I think I can cut out the candle flame going to the... Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Just had my fingers uh, singed a bit there. So that's a quick way if you want to test your uh, diffraction grating out I would reckon. I'm not doing a scientific sort of test. But you can see the difference in the colours of the... Well, the bands of the colours are very strong on this candle, actually. 
but be careful not to get too close to it because it will probably melt the diffraction grating. Put this big, oh, I'll show you the big light. There's a big light up above. Um, which way am I going? Uh, is that it? That's the, so I'm going quite far to the right hand side. Let me move the camera a bit. I think it depends on the distance. Oops, I want to be a lot higher up, don't I? Uh, there we are. So that is me try and hold it further away, bring it closer. So it's almost touching the lens of the camera now. Actually it is on the lens of the camera now. But the light bulb is well over to the left as you see obviously I could do on the, oh sorry well the, the light bulb is to the left of the camera but the diffraction grating is to the quite a bit to the right of this light bulb up above I'm having to get also in line there so there we are that's a brief look I would say of testing your diffraction see a bit dead on the diffraction gear rating. Got this off eBay. It's gonna be dead on as I say, but I'll wipe that off later. Oh well, that's a good shot actually. So that's a brief look at this diffraction grating which I got off eBay a little bit dirt on it try to keep them clean only a very f thin film so be careful with it especially near heat sources like candles and some light bulbs if they get hot Is it possible to make a rainbow? Well, a bit of a one. I've got this again, this Cree torch. Well, it says it's Cree. Sorry, this is going out of focus here. And you can zoom in and well, zoom the light in and out wide. I'm going to zoom it in quite a bit there. And if I hold this up here, you probably can see the colours there just looking at it. But if you look down on my computer desk down here, if I hold this, I think I have to be quite close. Don't know. You see sort of some rainbow colours there. Sorry if the camera's having a hard time in the low light here. And I'm twisting it about a bit to try and improve that. That's just the basics. It's up for you to have some fun with this if you want to buy one. So I'll get various colours even from the shining the light this bright light. I think you do need a bright light to do this really to get any rainbow colours. I'm getting two lots there. If I, I'm actually touching the um, touching the lens here just about as close as I can get so I get one left and one to the right I think there and like a light in the middle where it's going straight through so it's defracting to the left and defracting to the right it seems to be 
like as I showed you earlier where you're getting two images what they call a primary and a secondary I believe but I don't know about that with this a little bit further away from the let me try this on a wider beam well let's try a narrower beam first there's a narrow beam let's try that first hold it on oh that's better isn't it look at that very nice there's a one over yeah there is a bit of a one I don't know uh, that's better over to the left my arms getting in the way there so there's one to the left and one to the right the one to the right is I would say a bit stronger it's going in the opposite direction so the blue light is near the main light in the middle of there the blue sort of rainbow colour let me try putting this on wider. Why does it go? See what we what happens. It's been having a shave earlier, so I've got some not so nowhere near as good. Might be getting washed out by the light coming out. So I would say you want it on the smallest. What to call zoom in zooming in on these torches if you have a zoom on oh yes you can see reflections sometimes if you get the light just right if you have a dark background just a second oh well this will do Look at this this is pretty black let's move that coming down a bit So I think you're having to get the angles in the correct way. No way I can see that. Ah. I just wonder it. It's not necessarily shining light on it, I don't think, in this case. But I can definitely see colours in there. Double is the camera because the Polex is a little bit awkward and I think in the camera is washing out the, the light. Let me kind of put that on a lower beam, lower brightness and oh, let me get focus but sometimes I think it's a bit harder to do like this if you've got something black behind it and trying to get colours out of it you might see some of the colours there I'm holding it to torch at a quite a, a low angle to it let me try from this direction I'm holding the torch almost well level with it like shining over to the right to achieve that sort of colour there on a very narrow beam so that's a, a brief look at this diffraction grating